Hey guys, what's going on? We are sitting here right now in UDK. We just got it booted up. If you haven't already, I suggest you watch the first part. Of course. That's why they're labeled. Durr. Okay, so anyway, we got UDK open, and I'm just going to go over in this episode the general interface, the entire thing. So, let's just go over a couple things first, uh, just random things. First of all, I do not claim to have the correct way of doing things around here for UDK, and if you feel that I'm doing something wrong and you're a UDK expert, feel free, free to correct me, and I will definitely take the criticism. And let's see, second... Make sure to ask questions if you have them in the comments, and I will be sure to answer them if they're good. That doesn't mean, lol, 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 can I have your gamer tag blocks and such. I don't know, something dumb like that. I'm not answering that. I answer UK specific questions. So, let's see, what else? Try new things whenever you can. So, feel free to stray creatively when we're working, building a map or something like that, and you want to try something new. Don't be afraid to pause the video and screw around with something, and it'll be a lot easier when you get down the line. And, uh, you know, all that great stuff, because this is, like, really creative and such, or something like that. I don't know, that sounded really pathetic. This is really creative, man. Do anything, man. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's just close out of this thing for for now. I'll get back to that later. What the... Okay, so we're back in UDK. I don't know what I clicked there. But that was just the content browser I closed down with the start page. And what this brings you to is four viewports, a whole bunch of buttons, a whole bunch of buttons, just a whole bunch of buttons everywhere. So what you want to do is we're going to first figure out this view... Uh, let's see, what should we start with? Um, let, you know, let's start with the content browser. I'm sorry, that was my fault. So what we got here is the content browser. You can access it by clicking this little button. I'll go over that later. And this brings you to the content browser. I'm not going to go over this right now, but this is where all your assets are. Everything you make, you import in, it's all going to be right here. So next we have the actor classes, and this holds data of all the coded in features that you have and I'll go over this later but this is like how you add stuff that's coded into the engine or your game so we'll worry, worry about this later levels doesn't matter for machinima scene doesn't really matter for machinima too much unless you're trying to find a certain object in the map groups is not really a big deal for machinima I'll teach you about that later if you really want to know it attachments it's eh, it's not really that big of a deal and for references what this does is I'll actually pull up a map quick to show you what it does it's actually a good thing to have let's just pull up a quick reprisal map that I haven't finished yet so you guys get a sneak peek into reprisal how's that huh huh did ever load come on buddy it's loading the package up and it's kinda slow okay you get all my load errors I always get so anyway, let's see. So if I were to click on the References tab, and let's say you see this little box here, and you want to know like what kind of textures are on that and where to find those, well, what you do is you click on it, and it loads up everything that this consists of in the game. So we've got the static mesh, we've got the normal map, and we've got the material with the two. I think one's a specular channel, one's a diffuse. Or, you know, this is the diffuse, and they just flattened it. For some reason, I don't know why. I'm not sure how to explain that. And it gives you, it just gives you a list of like all the stuff inside that makes up this material right here. And it gives you, you know, the, it just gives you everything. So if you, you're ever looking for like something that's on a certain object in the map, let's say this little tiny buddy here, and there it gives us the static mesh, and the material, the texture. I'll tell you the difference between textures and materials later. And there's the normal map. So that's pretty much that thing right there. And next we've got primitive stats, which just gives you a list of pretty much everything in your map and how much resources it's using, how many resources it's using. So like how much, how many polys are in the model and how many instances of the model are in there. As well as, you know, how, how much, it even tells you the kilobytes or whatever, how many memory it's taking up just being loaded. So it's, re it's really helpful. And then it'll even give you the types of skeletal mesh, static mesh, decal, and let's see, model. Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's just the, some BSP. 
And then building stats doesn't matter for it doesn't really matter for Machinima. Don't worry about that. Texture stats it's kind of the same as primitive stats, but more for like the textures and what they're doing in the map and stuff. You can look over that and mess around with it. It's not a huge deal because we're not worrying about efficiency too much in different maps, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Then the log, if you're smart with coding and stuff, this kind of gives you. It's kind of like a console. So you can type commands into here and it'll give you warnings and stuff and tell you what's going on and all that great stuff. So if you're having a big error, it'll tell you what's what's going on here. And then the start page, which is what we pulled up, which feature, features documentation and all these getting started stuff that's just for if you're making games. Not machinima like this is. <laughs> so I went over the content browser layout and... Let's see, what we're going to do next is we're going to go over the different perspective viewports. And I'll actually do that in the next little bit. So I'm going to stop the video right here since we're getting around five minutes. And of course, you guys want the 1080p, so i got to keep it lower. I'm, I'll, don't worry, I'll upload these all in short amounts of you know, times apart, so don't worry about that. So see you in the next video.